Hello, everyone, and a very, very good morning. And welcome to Home Choir. This week, well, we are getting closer and closer to the big day. And today, well, the headline song is Torches by the great composer John Joubert. And this is a Christmas classic. It's one I remember singing many, many years ago. And I know I've been conducting it for years and years and years. First time, of course, teaching it online. If you have a Carol for Choirs book, you can sing along. We're just going to be looking at the melody for this one rather than teaching all the harmony parts. So if you want to sing along in harmony, uh, well, you're very welcome to, but you will need a copy of Carol for Choirs. Otherwise, you can learn it by ear and sing along. It is an absolutely brilliant, brilliant tune. And a special guest in Patchway Cathedral Choir today is a young master. Bobby England, who recorded the uh, treble part for me yesterday, and he's done a magnificent job. We're all very proud of him. Uh, Katie listened to it and immediately ran into her room to do some recording of her own, which you're going to hear the results of this coming weekend. Um, I won't tell you what she did. Let's just say Ali Jones would be proud. there. Now then, let me just check everything's working. Of course, this is not actually the official start of the broadcast, and some of you will notice things have changed a little bit. This looks a little bit like we've gone back in time, actually, studio-wise. Things are uh, somewhat moved around. I'm still in the same room. I've just moved us around by 90 degrees, so these are the shelves that you couldn't see previously, and this is so I could set up even more shelves in this room to fit the vast number of scores, books, instruments, CDs, everything that we have in here. Um, so this is definitely a little bit more um, compact than it was, but I think it just it reminds us of the uh, of the good old days of not that long ago, back in the summer, where uh, you could see everything behind me. And I know that dear dear Mike Mike N particularly wanted to see the wee heart daddy sign. So there it is, Mike, just for you. Okay. Let's check everything's working. Do we have home choir singing Crate of the Stars of Night? We do. Lovely piece recorded last year. Oh, little one sweet. Lovely. Away in a manger. First tune. Beautiful setting. Uh, torches, the new one this week. Torches, 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 torches. Young Master England doing a marvellous job at the top line there. Commentary Carol. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Ikea, Ikea are indeed delighted, Nikki. And I will tell you all, I did go down to Ikea this weekend. Just checking everything's working. Master in the Soul is the one. I do like that that track. It's got lots and lots of distorted cantile in it. Um, yes, I did go to IKEA, known locally as the Fortress of Ultimate Darkness, and uh, I think I've set a new record. I managed to get in and out of IKEA and buy three Billy bookcases, load them onto the trolley, pay for them, and be back at the car within six minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Six minutes in out. It's like a military operation. And because uh, I was there first thing on Saturday morning, I mean, as they were opening, I got a parking space straight away and I was one of the first people to the tills. That's how you do it. OK, I may or may not have thrown a muscle out in my back trying to manhandle three Billy bookcases into the car, but it doesn't matter. I've got that personal best. <laughs> my back will heal, but that record will stand for all time. Anyway. How is everyone? I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you had a good weekend. If any of you out there are not feeling very well, well, lots of love to all of you. It's not that long till Christmas. As I said to you on Friday, when we started our Christmas broadcasting only a few weeks ago, people were saying, oh, it's nowhere near Christmas yet. Bar humbug. And now here we are, two weeks today. It will be Christmas Day. We'll be surrounded um, by all of the accoutrement of the, of the season, presents and food and all the rest of it. And I am so looking forward to spending some time with my kids and with my lovely wife and enjoying some nice food and presents and films and all the rest of it. And, of course, wonderful, wonderful Christmas music. We've got lots of gorgeous songs to look forward to over the coming days, both here and, of course, on Choir of the Earth. 
Uh, Choir of the Earth have got a brilliant programme going on at the moment, something on every day leading up to Christmas, uh, or at least up to the uh, 21st. There's an advent calendar which takes you right the way up to the 24th, and there's more surprises yet that are just going to blow people's minds. So it's a really fantastic time to pop over and just have a look at what Choir of the Earth are doing. Even if you're not a member, you can still go and enjoy these premieres. Uh, tonight is a piece called Lacrimosa, which is from the Mozart Requiem, of course, but this is a different take on the Mozart Requiem. It's a tango take. Uh, we're no stranger to taking uh, familiar tunes and tangoizing them. That's, that is a word. Yes, it is. Yes, it is now. Uh, if you remember our Jingle Bell Tango, um, Martin Palmieri, who's that? I mean, honestly. Anyway, how is everyone doing? Let me welcome everyone who's watching later on. Thank you so much for being here. Do consider giving us a thumbs up if you like what we do. And if you haven't yet subscribed, join the well over 4,100 people who have clicked that nasty red sub uh, subscribe button and turned it that soothing shade of grey. And if you wouldn't mind joining us, it's 4,152 as of this broadcast, which is fab. Let's see if we can hit, I don't know, 4,160 by the end of the week. That'd be good. So... If you're uh, out there watching, if you're one of the 40% of people who watch Home Choir and don't subscribe, well, make today the day. Make it an early Christmas present. Why not? Hello to everyone who is watching but isn't in the live chat today. In particular, as always, hello to Helene and Bill and Val. Hello to Sue and Tony and Sally and Annie and Maureen. Hello to Harry and June. Hello to Anne and Linda and Charlotte and Nikki and Huyen and Val and Katie in Thornbury. And to anyone else who is watching live but isn't in the live chat today. And what a lively crew we have in the live chat. Lovely to see all of you. Thank you to Dave and Jill for uh, giving apologies and I hope you have a good time uh, working today in the community. And who is here this morning? Hello, Atty. Hello, Alison. Hello, Angela. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Christine. Hello, Diane. Hello, Eileen. Hello, Emma. Hello, Fiona. Hello, Glennis. Hello, Gloria. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Jane. Hello, Jean. Hello, Jill. Hello, Kim. Hello, Linda. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mike. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Sean. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Susanna and Hanu. Hello to all of you. Well, I do hope everyone's having a good one. Hello, Soraya, as well. A very, very good morning. And again, just huge thanks to all of you for all the kind messages uh, for my birthday last week. Just was so lovely to hear from you. And to anyone who sent me a, a kind gift, it was very, very kind of you. Hugely appreciated. And of course, great to see so many people here in the live chat having a lovely time. I do hope, as I say, those of you who have been under the weather, that you're feeling better soon. Hi, Jane. Great to see you just in time. Absolutely. Well, I mean, you have actually timed it almost exactly to the minute as we're starting in at under a minute's time. So why don't we make sure we've got everything we need for the session? You will need a drink of water, an optional extra today, because I will have the words on screen, of course. But if you want to sing along with torches, you want to grab your Carols for Choirs one book. If you don't have this, this is an excellent thing to have in your collection. Uh, this, as you can see, is very, very old uh, edition. This is one of the very first editions. This one was from the 1960s, ladies and gentlemen. And that doesn't mean that people who were around in the 1960s are very old. I just want to say that. But this has been very well loved. I've had this book for 30-something mm, years now. And it has been in and out of my bag. And it's falling to pieces, but it's still... Fantastic. So Carol requires one if you want to sing along with torches. Otherwise, words will be on screen and, of course, beautiful music in our ears. So let's get started, shall we? Let's have the B-flat chord. We're going to have the ho-ho home choir chord to start off because it is very nearly Christmas time. Here we go, everyone. Ho-ho home choir. Off we go. And ho-ho home choir. Beautiful. And a very, very good morning, good afternoon or good evening. Whatever time you are watching this, you are also very, very welcome to Home Choir. And today it is Monday, so we are here first thing on Monday morning with a packed programme with seven pieces to look forward to. And we've had all sorts of different styles of music here on Home Choir, including Little Donkey and I Want Hippopotamus for Christmas. We've had brand new music in the form of I Sing of a Maiden by Christopher Upton. We've had sad music like that Tchaikovsky. We've had jazz. Today, is, this is mainly ancient melodies. So we have Creator of the Stars of Night, probably the oldest piece we sing here on Home Choir from the 13th century. We've got a little one sweet. We've got Away in a Manger, The Coventry Carol, Noel Nouvelle, Masters in This Hall, all old, old carol tunes. And then right in the middle, 
something a bit more modern, a bit more up to date. Torches by John Jubet, who was uh, whose wonderful setting was apparently written for his wife's school. His wife was teaching in a school uh, where she was working with primary school children. She said, I need a piece for Christmas. And so he took this uh, ancient set of words and wrote a really, really good tune around it. So you're going to love learning torches. And if you know it already, you're probably already bouncing up and down in excitement because it is one of the very best Christmas tunes out there. But that's not all we've got coming up this week. It's a packed week because on Wednesday we have W in our choral alphabet. And we've been working hard at this, folks. This is a, a, a big, big step forward for home choir. And after Christmas, we'll finish the choral alphabet with X, Y and Z, but this week it's W for Wood, as in Charles Wood, and we're going to learn his arrangement of King Jesus Hath a Garden, another beautiful Christmas carol, perfect for this time of year. And then on Friday, well, we're going to have chestnuts roasting on an open fire and all sorts of chilled out jazzy numbers to take us into the weekend. Now, you will have a sing Sunday this week. I need to let you know that will be a pre-record, uh, and so just bear in mind that although I will be here and I'll be talking to you, I'm going to be recording recording that over the next few days because I'm going to be away visiting family this weekend but you will still have a Sunday and then next week Wednesday and Friday to take us right the way up to Christmas itself you're going to have a superb array of Christmas collections uh, festive fun and more so that's a packed program to take us up to Christmas and of course you can support us if you like what we do please consider buying us a coffee. Go along to homechoir.org slash donate and you can give whatever you can spare, which will really help us. Every penny goes back into making Home Choir for you. And so thank you to everyone who supports us, whether it's a one-off donation or whether you're kind enough to support us every month. Your superstars. Thank you so much. And the other thing I'm going to ask you to do, if you haven't already done so, bearing in mind that there's only a couple of weeks more whilst this will be on sale, is to download our O Nata Looks recording. You're going to hear this again this coming Sunday if you haven't heard it recently. It is a superb recording. It really is the best thing that Home Choir has put out to date. Um, professionally mixed. Uh, with Jamie Hall singing bass, Hannah Ely singing soprano, and all of you, of course, joining in, supporting Choirs Against Cancer. So if you would like to support that very worthwhile cause and have one of Home Choir's best recordings in your collection, well, go along to homechoir.org slash store, and you can buy that for £5, and we are giving all of the proceeds after the very small amount that Stripe, who deal with the, the payments for us, they take a small percentage and everything else is going straight to the charity. So please consider doing that if you haven't done so and you've only got until Christmas to buy your copy. And of course, all of that information and more you'll find in our newsletter. It is the one-stop shop to keep up with everything that's going on in Home Choir. So go along to the website. I'm sending you to the website a lot these days. I do appreciate. But it's, it, it's a great website. So go along to the website, click newsletter, sign up. Fill in the form and you are done. And we'll send you once per week an email containing all the links, scores and all the news that's fit to print about this wonderful choral community. And if you tell us when your birthday is, as Susan did, we will sing you happy birthday on your special day. And it's her birthday tomorrow, so we will sing for Susan in just a minute. But let's warm ourselves up a little bit. So full screen, does this look a bit more familiar? I mean, those of you who've been home choir uh, members for a while, this will look very, very familiar reminiscent of the old studio that's because well it's arranged in the same place the window is almost exactly where it used to be um, but of course I'm in a different room I just felt this this makes me feel a bit more at home and I'll, I'll add some more decorations to the shelves those of you are saying it's great one piece of tinsel Ben does not Christmas make I do appreciate that so uh, we'll we'll add some more decorations if only I had a uh, a box full of special homemade decorations that you know, for example, Home Choir had sent to me last year. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Watch this space. Rolling our shoulders around, everyone. And then up to your ears. And then let your shoulders fall. A bit stiff today. Must be all that lugging around of books and bookcases and getting everything moved around. But is that also that... Uh, that smug feeling of having actually achieved something you set out to do. And that's one of the great things, actually, isn't it, in life? You set yourself a goal. It doesn't have to be huge. It can be, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go and work in the garden today, or I'm going to put up a shelf, or I'm going to tidy that corner of the house that needs tidying. And you do it. It just feels fantastic. So I've been meaning to do all of this for some time. This past weekend, 
I felt very, very virtuous indeed. Can you see my halo? It's probably just out of shot. It, 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 it's there. Do trust me. Okay. Nice deep breath. And we're going to hum up and down the third. Here we go. And... in my voice means I need a sip of drink and we'll continue to minute. people are asking about this fine fellow here as you all recall it was my birthday last week this was my present from my daughter um, she said it's a cabbage dog and uh, it is I mean we also came up with the word the pack chihuahua but uh, he's, he's absolutely marvelous so he is now sitting on the shelf guarding the books so where were we we're at A. Let's try ya 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 and see if I can keep my voice together. Here we go. And ya 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 That's a bit better. That's a good tip for this time of year. If you feel your voice getting croaky, particularly if you've been ill, as I have been recently, you need to drink extra water just to make sure you stay hydrated and don't forget to wear a scarf out if you are uh, in a particular part of the world where it's cold at the moment, always wear a scarf. I say that to all of my singers, whether you're a digital choir, whether you're a face-to-face -face choir, or one of my singing students, always wear a scarf, always carry water. I know that people are saying, you're such a singer. I say, well, yes, you've got to look after your voice. So important vocal health tip there. All right, everyone, let's sing happy birthday for Susan. Let's bring her name back on screen. So dear Susan is one of our many, many subscribers and she's subscribed to the newsletter. So happy birthday for tomorrow, Susan. After two, everyone, ready? One, two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Susan. Happy birthday. returns of the day to you Susan hope you have a fantastic one so let us bring the words up on screen for our very first song of the week and this is one that you recorded for me was it last year was it the year before I mean it's all blurring at this point we've been on the air nearly four years and so with all the songs we've done sometimes difficult to remember when I'm pretty sure this was a sing and send project last year it's called creator of the stars of night it is actually the oldest piece we sing here on home choir dating back to the 13th century so it is a piece of medieval plain song and um, I do have some thoughts in mind for some deep dives to follow next year because we've, we've done a whole load on different composers. I think it's time next year to look at different eras of music and what made those particular eras special. And one of the things that made the medieval era, which of course was very, very long indeed, is this use of, uh, of lines that are very, very much about flowing shapes. Lines that last one breath rather than particular lines that are held back by bars and bar lines. It's one of the reasons why... People find medieval plain chants so relaxing to listen to because it is just a single breath on a single line. And so you recorded this one for me last year and you sang it beautifully. So let's start off our week with home choir singing, Creator of the Stars of Night. Uh, so those who wish to sing along, here we go.
That's one of my favourite recordings that you've done, folks. Really is. Gorgeous. So beautifully sung. So pure. And you see what I mean about just how relaxing it is to take away the time signatures, to take away the march of, uh, of, a, of a tempo and just let the air... Well, the, the, paint beautiful shapes in the air. That's what we do when we sing that. Beautifully sung, everyone. Thank you. And what a great start to our week. We're going to carry on now with a piece, well, of Bach. Now, the tune originally was not by Bach, but this harmonisation very much was. Uh, we're going to sing in English, though, Oh, Little One, Sweet. I've just noticed it's not in uh, B flat major, it's in A major, after all. Oh, Little One, Sweet, Oh, Little One, Mild. This one, again, and I, 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 I'm not sponsored by OUP, though if they are watching, give us a call, eh? I mean, I, w I wouldn't say no. But if you do want to sing along with this one, there is a, a rather nice version, A Little One Sweet, page 87 in the Green Book, if you have it, and you can sing along in harmony. Otherwise, let's sing this beautiful, beautiful melody, harmonised by the great JSB. Here is A Little One Sweet. Such a lovely piece. Really gorgeous. I see from the live chat that's new to many of you. Yes, it is also, obviously, available in German. And I think next year we may revisit that. That's actually a recording from 2020. So we are going back. That's before I, uh, I started experimenting with singing the top line at pitch. Everything back then sounded like a sort of King Singer's uh, barbershop revival. But it's a beautiful, beautiful setting. And yes, we will look at it in German at some point. And yes, the whole line about Mortal Ken. Um, and thank you, Nikki, for pointing out that also to Mortal Barbie, uh, indeed, and also with Barbie. So that is an absolutely stunning piece. So we're going to go follow that with another stunning setting. This is Away in a Manger, but not the version that we sang on Friday. This is the first tune. And this is a, again, <laughs> if you want to sing along, uh, you can find this one 
Actually, it's the second tune in this book, but it's a Normandy tune arranged by Reginald Jacks, and you'll find it on page three of the Green Book. Again, not sponsored, but give us a call, OUP. And um, many of the people watching at the moment will have found themselves in All Saints Church Clifton in Bristol on Friday night, just gone, watching the amazing Gisualdo Six. And uh, Gisualdo Six is a fantastic group that is now internationally famous and goes on amazing tours. And uh, one of them is uh, Josh Cooter, who is a member of the Fieri Consort. So I got to meet him for the first time. I got to hear this piece sung absolutely exquisitely in the frankly freezing cold conditions of uh, All Saints Clifton. Um, I will say this for them, though. They, I think they understood that it was going to be cold, so they gave everyone a, a, a cup of hot chocolate to take into the church, and we were all sort of huddling around these uh, these hot chocolates for the first half of the concert. But this was a real highlight for me because it's one of my favourite tunes of Away in a Manger. <laughs> Away in a Manger, everyone. Here we go. Nice deep breath. finishes yes all the clashes are gorgeous in that one of course but the fact it finishes on the dominant chord it doesn't finish on the minor it just leaves it hanging which is just a superb way to finish that tune and it is it, it, it is without doubt the best the best tune for Away in a Manger, and I shall now await a roasting, not just in the live chat, but on my social media. But I'm going to, this is a hill I am going to choose to stand on and fight. That is an amazing tune. And speaking of amazing tunes, in A minor, it's time to learn the new one for today. This is Torches, Torches, music by John Joubert, and you'll find this one if you wish to sing along. It's page 150. And the great thing about this, it is written for uh, well, for everyone to sing. It's not a difficult setting. Uh, we're going to look at the tune all the way through. Uh, there is quite a lot of harmony, particularly in verses 3 and 4, but I'm just going to teach this one as a unison carol. If you wish to sing along in harmony, you're very, very welcome to. And you'll be singing along with Bobby, who recorded this one for me yesterday. And uh, he has really, really grown in confidence and his voice is sounding absolutely tremendous. But before we get there, let's have a look at this tune. Okay, it's a really insistent tune. You get this at the start, and then you get... Torches, torches, run with torches all the way to Bethlehem. 
okay, listen to that tune again. Okay, now it does tend to live towards the upper to middle uh, of the range for basses and altos, and that's entirely right. It's supposed to sound quite strong, so don't undersing this, do go for it. And if you are a tenor or a soprano, let this one sit just uh, it, kind of in the very centre of your head. Torches, torches, for me, torches. Okay, so we get a lot of nice buzz in your voice. So we get, ready? And torches, torches, run with torches all the way to Bethlehem. Do notice that there is no breath after torches because there's no comma. Okay, it's one of my big bugbears about this one. Torches, torches, run with torches all the way to Bethlehem. So don't, don't grab a sneaky breath there. Sing all the way through. Then we take a big breath. Christ is born and now lies sleeping. Listen to those pitches. Now just watch out here with the rhythm. Then it's dotted, then it's straight. Christ is born and now lies sleeping. Now if that is too high, just float it, sing not too down, whatever you need to do, but do go for it. Christ is born, two, three, four. Christ is born and now lies sleeping. And then dotted, come and sing your song to him. Listen to that. Okay, sing that with me. And come and sing your song to him. And then do you know what? You do it again. So you sing that twice. You can see I've grouped those two verses together. So let's sing it. Two, three, four. Torches, torches, run with torches all the way to Bethlehem. Christ is born and now lies sleeping. Come and sing your song to him. Fabulous. So both those uh, first and second verses are strong. It's marked mezzo forte. I always say to the choir, knock it up a notch, okay? Just, just so you've got plenty of oomph to get all the way up to that top E. Then we sing, ah, ro, ro, my baby. Ah, ro, ro, my love, ro, ro. It's the same tune as we were just singing, but it is a lullaby version. So we sing, ah, ro, 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 my baby. Sleep you well, my heart's old oh, darling, while we sing you our oh, oh. Okay, gentler and still with the same sense of shape. And when we go up to the high note here, make it a lullaby high note rather than a belting high note. Sleep you well, my heart's old oh, darling. Okay, rather than sleep you well. So let's sing our row row together, everyone. Are we ready? Two, three, four. Last line, while we he sing you who are row row. Make those consonants particularly uh, sibilant. While we sing you who are row row. Okay, everything up to that point is nice and gentle, but this is almost about trying to wake the baby in this last line to come in. And the last verse Sing, my friends, and make you merry. Joy and mirth and joy again. Lo, he lives, the King of heaven, now and evermore. Amen. Now, there is one more little bit, but it is the tune as we've sung so far, and it is really very, very strong. Now, if you want to sing against this, altos and basses, you wait for the, the tune to start, and then you sing. Sing, my friends, and make you merry. 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 Sing, my friends, now and ever more. Amen. Listen to it again. Okay, and if you are following along, this is page 152 in the Green Book. So this is altos and basses. Two, three, four. Sing, my friends, and make you merry. Sing, my friends, and make you merry. Sing, my friends, now and ever more. Amen. Okay. 
So that's an option for those who don't want to sing the upper melody. Everyone else sings the tune. So sing my friends and make you merry. So remember, altos and basses start a bar later. So we get two, three, four. Sing my friends and make you merry. Joy and love and joy again. Lo, he lives the king of heaven. Now and evermore. Amen. Then we sing. There's an option for the sopranos at the end to go now and ever, ever more. Amen. If you wish to follow Bobby at that bit. Let's sing it all the way through. This is a brand new recording. I mean, hot off the press. I was still working on it this morning. Bob recorded this for me yesterday. He's done a fantastic job. So I want to see lots of appreciation for young Master England in the chat. But here we go. First time, here is Torches, Torches. Enjoy. And... Torches, torches, from me, torches, all our way to heaven. Christ is born and God is speaking, come and sing your song to me. Torches, torches, from me, torches, all our way to heaven. Christ is born and God is speaking. fantastic isn't it oh, oh he's, he's got such a great voice hasn't he ever so proud of him both my kids brilliant brilliant singers also very generous of them to give their time at the weekend to sing for us so thank you everyone for your appreciation i know we'll show uh, bobby these uh, comments later on thank you all of you okay so now something again very very old this is the coventry carol a very very old tune um, not the happiest of tunes. Again, not all Christmas songs are supposed to be bouncy and jolly and full of jingling bells. This one is, uh, I believe, from the 14th or 15th century. And this is the original one with all the clashes in. So let's sing the Coventry Carol, everyone. Here we go.
beautiful tune, some amazing clashes in there, kind of clashes that really you wouldn't expect to hear in an old tune. And in fact, in many of the settings of that, many of the arrangements in the 19th and early 20th centuries, they took out the clash. I think they said, I can't possibly mean to have had that clash in there. No, 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 no. And they bowdlerized it. They sanitized it. But it works so, so well with that clash of those two notes right next to each other. It's like a sharp taste in an otherwise very, very sweet, uh, sweet meal. And I do love the fact that Susanna is there in the comments saying we need to sing some Finnish carols. Um, because these are truly, truly depressing. For example, now is the time to be merry. Life is short and most of it is miserable. I thought I read online that Finland is the happiest nation in the world. Well, sometimes, clearly. <laughs> now then, let's uh, follow that with something in French, everyone. No nouvelle before we move to Masters in this Hall to wrap up this wonderful Christmas session. Uh, this one is in D minor. This is another very, very old setting. This one is a 16th century arrangement. We've got opportunities for, it says sops, obviously that is also uh, an option for altos to sing along as well. And then tenors and basses in the middle. So let's have Noël Nouvelle, everyone. Here we go. Fabulous. So many beautiful, beautiful songs. All slightly tinged with sadness, yes, without doubt. But on the other hand, just that absolute beauty of singing in the minor mode. It, there was something so beautifully, um, absolutely glorious about moving from the minor to the major within that key. going to finish off with one more in the minor mode still in d minor this one is masters in this hall but i recorded a slightly more up tempo slightly more distorted accompaniment for this using the wonderful finnish cantillate we haven't had a finnish carol but we will finish with some finnish instruments how about that masters in this hall everyone make sure you're ready to gallop along because this one's got lots and lots of heart and also a nice fast time signature here we go nice deep breath and off we go. Masters in this hall, hear ye news today. Brought from oversea, and ever I you pray. No, 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 no,
great way to end our show than with some distorted cantilly and a nice upbeat number to wrap up our home choir for today so everyone thank you so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed it if you did please remember that thumbs up please remember to subscribe if you haven't done so join me on wednesday for the next installment of the choral alphabet we're getting near the end we're at w after a really fantastic year of music three more to come after christmas then being x y and z but this week it's W for Wood and it's a piece called King Jesus Hath a Garden. It's absolutely gorgeous. The words don't make a lot of sense, but the music is absolutely divine. And then on Friday this week, join me for chestnuts roasting on an open fire and more jazzy pieces. Those of you trying to avoid hearing Hark the Herald Angels sing, I will give you a warning when we sing it because that one is programmed for Friday. So you might just want to mute the stream if you're playing that very silly game where you're trying to avoid being it's Harkageddon. Um, I'm afraid I was long ago Harkageddon, so while I won't spoil it for those of you who are doing it, so I'll put a warning up on screen before I play that tune. But in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. If you can join Choir of the Earth later on for uh, the Lacrimosa premiere, bear in mind that it starts off as Mozart and then turns into the most fantastic tango then please do make sure you go and watch that. And then tomorrow, it's a wonderful setting of Bridge Over Troubled Water, one of my favourites, arranged by Kirby Shaw. Uh, the choir are singing so, so well. It's one of my... In fact, it's probably the favourite thing that they've done. And those of you are going, but what about Indodana? I think I prefer Bridge to Indodana. That's just me. It's so uplifting. Do go along and watch those when you can. And I'll see you on Wednesday. All the very best, everyone. Take care. See you. Bye.